on this video as you can see in the title I'm coming back with another video this time I am going to be doing a cooking video you guys have been asking me to do a cooking video so I'm finally getting to it this time I'm gonna be using my pressure cooker it's going to be my version of mushroom and rice and chicken or chicken mushroom and rice whatever you want how you want to phrase it but I'm really excited my kids love it it's the most easiest meal to make seriously but anyway before we get into this video make sure you are you are subscribed hit that bell button so you guys can know when my latest videos are posted definitely follow me on my different social medias especially instagram because it's my favorite and uh yeah let's get into this video are the comments of the day if you want to find out how to get your comments shown make sure you're subscribed liked and comment to my latest upload this is everything you need first i'm going to drizzle some olive oil then I am going to uh, put my mushrooms in there, sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and also you're going to put a dash of onion powder. I personally can't eat onions. If you can't eat onions, then go ahead and just chop you up some onions and instead of using the onion powder. I also didn't want to forget, right now I have it on the saute. Um, setting on my pressure cooker and then when I cook it I put it on the highest setting or the high pressure all right now I'm gonna put in one cup of rice and one cup of broth it can be vegetable broth chicken broth I have vegetable broth so that's what I use but if I had chicken broth I would have used that and then I'm just gonna stir that all in there Then I put in two chicken breasts, which is some salt and some pepper, and a little dash more of onion powder. And I use two cans of cream of mushroom. Um, I like it really creamy, but if you don't like it that creamy, so you can just use one can. That'll be fine. I set the pressure cooker for five minutes, and this is what it looks like when it's done. Make sure you let the steam out. Um, I wait till all the steam releases by itself before I let it out and then this is me just shredding up the chicken. And voila, dinner is served. you guys enjoyed this video um definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video and as always guys god bless Mwah.